He's not so quite as well known as uh, Frosty the Snowman, but another Christmas character has gained fame in and around Rice County. We first introduced you to the little fella two years ago, and tonight he returns. Boyd Hooper has the story and an update. No calling birds, no turtle doves to summon Christmas to the tree farm. No geese a-laying, no swans a-swimming, but then... Who needs them? He's got a character, he's got a personality. <laughs> he's the new arrival leaving his mark all over this place. He just showed up one day, out of the blue. Angela Nelson's family. Merry Christmas. Runs the Orchard and Tree Farm, where six weeks ago, this rambling Rhode Island red rooster <laughs> took up residence. Yep, his name is Willie. Willie Nelson. It seems to work. We just go with it. Their very own red-headed stranger. He just kind of adopted us and we adopted him. Where Willie came from exactly is a Christmas mystery. The Nelsons checked with the farms up and down their roads and learned of not a single rooster on the land. But however he got here, Willie found the perfect place. See, he's greeting the kids. I'm here, come see me. Turns out more than one guy with a red cap and a beard. Here, Willie. Is spending the holidays charming children. Follow the rooster and he'll show you the best Christmas trees. <laughs> Come here, Willie. <laughs> Looks like he wanted a home and some people to be around. <laughs> In other words, a chicken with his thighs on the prize. The rooster's following us. <laughs> the Nelsons have a barn but Willie has taken to sleeping in the wrapping paper on top of that sleigh. It's Willie the Christmas chicken. Yeah, that's perfect. Sure, no one knows where he came from. <laughs> but Willie Nelson may just be Christmas's best poultry delivery <laughs> since a partridge landed in a pear tree. Keeping everybody smiling. <laughs> oh, Willie. Merry Christmas. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News. <laughs> Webster. After that story first aired, the Nelson family heard from people as far away as from Australia who had seen Willie on TV. He spent the rest of that winter in their barn, then come summer, Willie disappeared, just as mysteriously as he had arrived. Ross Nelson told us today, Willie left behind some very good <laughs> Christmas memories. <laughs>